Welcome back everyone to BBL Fantasy as uh, obviously it's round two starting tonight after round one What's my score looking like? Let's have a look here uh, Ended up with about 900 and something actually probably best go to go in the lobby to have a look at that Ended up with 937 my top player was Andre Russell because I had Pat Cummins on the bench who was of course the highest scoring player for Round one now. Let's take a look at my team. I haven't made any trades as yet. Just swapped a few players around uh, so Moved sort of Luke Wright here in a vice captain position because I feel like He's probably the most likely out of himself Johnson Whiteman Botha and Bollinger and even Christian to get the highest score as a VC and then I can obviously trade someone uh, and loop hold them back in if I need to now, I do have $55,000 of salary sitting there waiting to be used. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, if I am going to do any trades. I might keep this team for another week uh, and possibly maybe trade out a guy like Ben Cutting um, if I am going to make some changes to this, uh, this team. And it's kind of hard because it's so hard to pick who's going to do well and when they're going to do well. So I feel like that's something I really need to work on and get right this time around and make sure it all looks good. I won the only game that I played in round one and was pretty high up on a number of the other leaderboards going in. But uh, the verses start this week. It's going to be a cracking sort of showdown between... Uh, between a few of the, the players and you just hope that your team is ready to perform and perform well. I feel like maybe I'll, I'll get rid of a Bollinger or a Botha here because uh, they do only play the one match and these were off the back of, you know, uh, double games here for the Sixers. So, might, might need a change coming in. And, um, yeah, pretty much did make the right decision with my captaincy of uh, Andre Russell. Obviously, Pat Cummins would have been ideal, but... Uh, he was my top scoring player on the field, so thank you everyone who uh, told me otherwise, but uh, I made a good call there. Going to keep him there. I know it's 128 off the back of two matches, so the average is 64, but I hope he'll do a little better than that this round and uh, and get me a solid score. Maybe I go with Cummins, but I don't know if the, oh, it's so hard to decide who should be captain, who shouldn't be captain. Why they should be captain, why they shouldn't be captain. Anyway, there's three hours until the match tonight between the Stars and the Hurricanes. There may be some changes between now and then. I don't think there will be. I'll probably leave this as it is for the time being. And what am I looking at here? Um, yeah, bloody Gorinda Sandu. The five points from the bench got me out of here. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leagues. And got a win in uh, this uh, Tatooine Blasters here, but uh, whew, it's gonna be gonna be tough to to pull off a clean sweep this week. Obviously, the the end of the round is on Wednesday, and then round three starts Thursday. So I have another video for you guys on Thursday, hopefully. Uh, I'm very busy this week, so I'll be aiming to get a video out every day. If I can't then that's just going to be really hard. But uh, I'm doing my best to get as much out as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm sure you, if you want to see more, we can definitely do more. But uh, I will see you guys later.